You know, I used to love Sam Harris, okay? I was a big Sam Harris fan. The guy, I, I, I kind of respect the guy. But lately, this is becoming such a, an issue for me. This Trump versus Hillary thing. Especially in light of this recent terrorist attack. How can this guy, who supposedly is some, you know, non-regressive, you know, he talks about the regressives and he's, he prides himself on being so anti the regressives, you know, who defend Islam and all of this stuff. How can he sit there and say that we should have Hillary Clinton as freaking president, okay? Hillary Clinton, when she wants to increase the Syrian refugees into our country by 500 freaking percent. I am so... That is, that is, she is the most dangerous person to be president right now, okay? And, hello, a lot of these gay people, they are coming to understand that Trump is the person that actually cares about protecting them. I'm far better for the gay community than she is. She talks a lot about it, and yet she'll allow people in that want to kill people from the community, from that community. And I think it's terrible. The same thing with women. They want to make women slaves, okay? They want to make women slaves. That's what they do. And yet she's fine with, you know, the women say, oh, isn't she wonderful? She's not wonderful for women. She wants people coming in. She wants a 500% increase in people coming in from Syria that are radical Islamists, okay? But they wait, are wait, 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 in wait, many wait. cases. She wants... Okay, Hillary just wants to let in these Syrian refugees and she talks about, oh, the vetting. Well, we'll vet them. Well, actually, guess what? You cannot vet these people and make sure that they're not terrorists. You cannot do that because they could be lying. Okay, you cannot trust these Syrian refugees. Syria is a very, very uh, radical Islamic place. Okay, there's lots of people there who... Okay, they are, they take Islam very seriously and they will take it literally. They will be these kinds of, they will be these kind of people who are jihadists, who are very, you know, not moderate. And you're just going to bring in those people. Okay, Trump talks about how it's going to be like, it could be a Trojan horse. That is right on. That is smart talking there. We're taking in people. We have no idea who they are. They have no identification. They have no papers. They're creating papers. They're making up papers. This could be a better, bigger, more horrible version than the legendary Trojan horse ever was. And, and just think of this. Take a look. Every single event, even a single individual, can be devastating. And all you have to do is take a look at what happened in Orlando and what happened in other cases. Just a single event. And just one person. Can you imagine what they'll do in large groups, which we're allowing now to come here? And you have Sam Harris making these, uh, I'll show you the whole video. I'll link to you the video where Sam Harris is criticizing Trump. I put Sam Harris on a soapbox for too long, okay? I think a lot of people in the atheist community have done this. They're kind of like, oh, Sam Harris. Oh, he's so untouchable. Oh, he's so smart. Well, he's wrong on this issue, and it's making me angry. He needs to see the bigger picture. Yeah, maybe Trump is not perfect on everything. Maybe he's not the most educated on everything. But you know what? Trump understands just simple common sense stuff, okay? He's not, you know, he just understands that, you know, Islam, the radical Islam is a huge huge threat. He's not undermining this threat where Hillary would. Okay? Hillary's like the Angela Merkel of America. I've made this comparison. Rowan has made this comparison. It's true. Okay? Hillary Clinton, she, she's going to let in all these Syrian refugees. She has a plan to up. I mean, even one Syrian refugee is too much. I don't want any of these freaking refugees coming into this country. We need to protect America. Okay, and how can Sam Harris not see this? This is the, the, the border issue, protecting our borders, uh, preventing and stopping immigration. 
This is the most important issue of all the issues, as far as I'm concerned right now. All right? This is the issue, and Sam Harris, he's so, oh, he's so focused on all these little problems he doesn't like with Trump that he's missing the point. The point is keeping America safe from this radical Islamic terrorism, okay? You know, Rowan wanted to make a whole, he's been preparing, like the last week he's been preparing, ever since the Orlando attack, he's been preparing this huge, you know, oh, he's, he's this huge um, presentation and everything, and he's, he said he wanted to be the first to talk on this issue. He wanted to be the first to make a comment. I'm like, no, I can't take it anymore. I don't have the patience to wait for Rowan's super presentation. I want to, I have to speak from the heart. You know, like that song by Roxette, Listen to Your Heart? Nothing is what it seems, the feeling of belonging to your dreams. Listen to your heart. Right, my heart is saying something. It's saying, we need Trump. We need an alpha male like Trump. Dude, how can Sam Harris want Hillary? Okay, you think these other countries would respect Hillary as president in the negotiations, you know, a woman, a woman. Okay, maybe America's ready to have a woman president. Maybe we're progressive enough. We're not sexist. But you know what? You can't ex expect all the other countries in the world who we're gonna have to negotiate with to respect a woman president. Okay, they are still behind the times. So we still need a male president, an alpha male like Trump, where people can respect him. They're not going to walk all over. You know, we, they, it would be perceived as a weakness. Okay, if, if America had Hillary Clinton as president, it would be perceived as a weakness where these other other you know leaders are thinking they they can attack us, they can manipulate us because we're just this weak nation who has Hillary Clinton as a president. Hillary Clinton is the queen of the regressives, and the more I hear Sam Harris defend her, he sounds like a freaking regressive to me. Sam Harris is leading a different type of regressivism. Anyone that's really voting for Hillary now, and not Trump, I think is a regressive in their own way. And I'm sick of it. We need Trump for just, hello, it's protection, and all the gays, they, they know, look, Stop listening to Sam Harris. Start listening to Milo Yiannopoulos. This guy gets it. He made a recent uh, speech at the Orlando, you know, place where the terrorist attack occurred. And he was speaking the truth. Okay, look, watch the video for yourself. I'm going to put that speech by Milo Yiannopoulos in the description. Wow, is he so right. I just wish people, all Sam Harris's legions of fans, would just listen to Milo Yiannopoulos instead of Sam Harris on this issue of Trump versus Hillary. It's very, it's a, it's important issue to me because I love America. America is the best. America, it's keeping me safe. America, I love the freedom here. I love the, 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 the values that we have here of freedom to, to, to be what you want to be. Where our ancestors first joined together in peace and declared that anyone can be anything. And, and you know, this, we want to, we want to preserve this. We don't want this Islamic, uh, you know, infestation like a virus. It's, it's a, it's bad. It's bad. Okay. These, these refugees, they are, you know, don't, don't think they're moderate. Maybe some of them are, but you know what? You can't just, you can't take the chance. It gets like a Trojan horse. So that's it. I mean, ugh, Sam Harris, you know, why should I respect this guy? Why should I? What he said about death sucks. Okay, he said life isn't the problem. He said death isn't the problem. Life is the problem. Okay, but if we are right, and nothing happens after death. Death, therefore, is not a problem. You know, life is the problem. How, how, am I supposed to respect this guy? I've, I'm losing respect for Sam Harris. He's going off the pedestal, all right? Milo Yiannopoulos is, is, is taking the place now. He's better, and you know what? Oh, Milo Yiannopoulos, okay. 
He's a Catholic. Oh, am I going to hold that against him? Oh, am I not going to listen to Miley Annapolis just because he's a religious person? You know, oh, Sam Harris is an atheist. I think we give people too many points, too much credit for just being an atheist. Seriously, it's not good enough. Sam Harris, I don't care if he's an atheist. I don't care if Miley Annapolis is a deluded Catholic. Okay, at least he's right on this important issue right now. And this is the, the fight of our generation here. The other fight is, of course, curing aging, living forever. You know, we don't, it's, it's all about survival here. That's a, I'm a person who's focused on survival. I just don't want to die. And I don't want to die from the hands of a terrorist. And I don't want to die from aging. And I think under a Hillary Clinton presidency, we would all be put in jeopardy. She'd be letting more and more refugees in. Who knows where she would end it? We don't even know. She's claiming that she's vetting them. <laughs> like I trust their vetting process? <laughs> no. Meanwhile, she's gotten all these donations from Islamic countries in her Clinton Foundation. That's right. She's gotten donations. How do I know that there's not some conflict of interest there? Okay? That she is doing the bidding of these Islamic leaders, letting these refugees in. Who knows what she's, what, what she's doing? I mean, seriously, I, I don't like it. Trump is just a guy who, he just really has the best interests of Americans at heart. Just wants to protect us from the terrorism. Milo sees that as a gay man. Milo understands that the more of this, you know, Islamic ideology that infests the American people, the more that this, this is, it can uh, be very bad for gays, very bad for women. Look at these, look how gays are treated in these Islamic countries. You think that mindset is not going to come back, come into America? Okay, it could come to America. I don't want America to become Islamified. So Sam Harris, he's supposed to be this crusader against the radical Islam. Well, you know what? He's failed here. He's failed on this point. This is an important point. You can't fail on this. He's lost my respect. You know, you see this trend where all these liberal people, these on the left, you know, the leftist liberal type people, they're all thinking they're going to fight Islam with love. You know, oh, you know, we can't buy into the fear. We can't play into the hands of the terrorists. How often do you hear this? This this message of, you know, Hillary Clinton, she says this a lot. Oh, we cannot play into the hands of the terrorists. <laughs> there, we can't, you know, we can't call it radical Islam because that would be playing into the hands of the terrorists and that would give the terrorists uh, a way to recruit more people because the Muslims are going to feel alienated and so they're going to they're going to become radicalized. You hear this a lot. It's such crap. Donald Trump is playing right into their hands. The thing, is, the the thing, the thing about Trump, though, is that uh, he's the recruiter in chief. He is, For ISIS. He is basically working with ISIS yes. to kill us. They are working together. Yes. Just remember what I'm saying. And why do you say this, Troy? Because every time you go after the Muslims and you talk about how they shouldn't come into the country and how they're all a bunch of whatevers, you are saying to ISIS, make another video to show people who are sympathetic to your cause. And don't think they haven't made many videos showing Donald Trump. He is a dangerous menace to the country. Donald Trump is supplying them with new propaganda. So when he says he wants to stop all Muslims from entering the United States, he is playing right into their hands. The real way to play into the hands of the terrorists would be to be so crippled by your uh, tolerance that you tolerate them. The real way to be to play into the hands of the terrorists would be to you know, out of fear of offending people, to just let these refugees in. That's how you play into the hands of the terrorists. So you gotta look at Hillary's actions, okay? And she might now, now she might be saying, oh, you know, now she might be calling it radical Islamism, which is really just a, it's a, it's like a, you don't need to have, Islamism is radical. That's a radical form of Islam. So it's a uh, redundant phrase, okay? But even if you don't, don't, don't just pay attention to her words now. She's trying to talk a big game, acting like she's going to be tough on terrorism. 
Well, meanwhile, she's talking about letting all these refugees in, increasing it by 500%, while Trump wants to pretty much let none of them in. He wants to set up refugee camps in Syria. You know, if we're going to help them, Trump wants to have compassion on these refugees, but he doesn't want to risk the lives of Americans, where Hillary Clinton has no problem with that. No problem with letting these refugees in, into America. This is crap. Utter crap. And, and anyone who supports this, Sam Harris, pathetic. Pathetic. Let's be clear, though. Islam is not our adversary. Muslims are peaceful and tolerant people and have nothing whatsoever to do with terrorism. Europe now, you know, welcoming in millions of people from alien cultures whilst the establishment refuses to accept that these, people, um, these people's belief systems are just dramatically incompatible with our own. And, you know, the regular citizenry is being lied to and, and lied about constantly all the time by the media on this stuff. Um, we have a population that is not able to protect itself, that is not adequately informed about the risks, the dangers of radical Islam. And um, the problem in Europe is that this stuff is now happening everywhere. No one is safe anywhere in Europe. It's happened in Paris, it's happened in London, it's happened in Brussels. No one is safe from this stuff. And what, is the gov what, what, what do our politicians leap to the airways to say? I really want to make it clear, it has nothing to do with Islam. Well, it does. Yeah. It does. Look, we cannot fight radical Islam with love. We need judgment. We need a, a, a righteous hatred of this evil that we see. Okay? And, and no, I'm not saying all. Duh! I'm not saying all Muslims are bad people or anything like that. I'm saying that we need to treat this as a serious threat and we need to secure our borders. Altogether, under the Clinton plan, you'd be admitting hundreds of thousands of refugees from the Middle East with no system to vet them or to, re or to prevent the radicalization of the children and their children. Not only their children, by the way, they're trying to take over our children and convince them how wonderful ISIS is and how wonderful Islam is, and we don't know what's happening. The burden is on Hillary Clinton to tell us why she believes immigration from these dangerous countries should be increased. Okay, we cannot let these people in here. We don't know who they are. And Trump's ban on the Muslims from coming in the country is perfectly reasonable, all right? He's not saying we should, you know, take all the Muslims out of the country, like some people have said as a straw man attack on Trump. Trump never said we, we should export all the Muslims and, you know, round them up and take them out or put them in camps. No, he's just saying we gotta, we, the ones that are not here right now, we cannot be importing Muslims from dangerous countries where they could be radical. They could be pretending like they're moderate. We don't even know. I agree. But do you see that you could be contributing to a demonization of all Muslims in general? Is that possible? No, just the opposite. I really believe it's just the opposite. Uh, I have many friends, you know that. I've said it before. I have many friends who are Muslim. I get calls from many people thanking me who are Muslim, thanking me. I have some incredible friends, some wonderful friends. Some are very successful, some aren't. But I have many Muslim friends, and they're thanking me, many of them. Not all of them, but many of them. The fact is, she's allowing massive numbers of people to come in, and they're not all radicalized, and they're not all terrorists. But there, it doesn't take many, Bill. If you take a look, this is one young man that did this damage. Fifty people killed and probably a lot more to follow. They're very, very gravely injured in hospitals right now. They're wounded so badly. So this is one man. So it doesn't take very many, but we have many, in my opinion, you have many coming in. And they're smart and they're cunning. And they know how to get through the system. And by the way, they've stolen our passport machines, so they make passports better than we make passports. We don't know who's coming in. And frankly, our president doesn't know what the hell he's doing. You know, these terrorists, you know, we, we see with Hillary and all these leftist, leftist regressive people, they're always speaking against fear, okay? That's exactly what the terrorists want. 
The terrorists want us to not fear them, okay? So they're like, oh, Trump, oh, he's uh, playing into the fear. You know, that's just what these terrorists want. No, the, the terrorists want us to be fearless, to think that, you know, the terrorists want us to under, you know, underestimate their threat. That is exactly what these regressive people like Hillary are doing, underestimating the threat. It's important that we don't listen to the voices, including those coming from Republican candidates for president, who would paint with such a broad brush, would want us to somehow isolate, register Muslims, go after Islam. We don't want to enhance the recruitment of ISIS and the others by acting like we're going to shut our borders because that validates them. And that then creates more opportunity, unfortunately, to pull in vulnerable people. So we're going to say, yeah, we're going to look at them like we look at everybody else. Letting in the refugees, just assuming that one of them is not going to be a radical Islamist terrorist. Look, all it takes is one terrorist to do some horrible damage with bombs and suicide bombing and all this stuff. I predict we're going to see a lot more terrorist attacks. It's going to happen. You're going to see more attacks on the gays. It's We need to stop this. We need to put a stop to it right now before it gets any worse. This is why we need Trump. Really, do you want America to, you know, turn into, you know, Europe? Okay, Eurasia with what happened to Europe now? You want that to happen to America? Then vote for Trump if you don't want that to happen. I highly recommend you watch this speech by Milo Yiannopoulos. This is the new guy. This is the guy to really promote here. He has the right attitude about this whole thing. And he's a Trump supporter. So watch this lecture, this speech by Milo Yiannopoulos. It's very important. It's one of the best speeches ever. Okay. It's in the description of this video. Please watch it. Go share it. Thank you very much. Living forever is possible. But we need to fight these terrorists. We can beat them. Okay, we cannot let our great country become infested and, and destroyed. Um. Well, at least one of the presidential candidates has suggested things that a lot of people find too much, which is a ban on Muslim immigration into, into the country. People are, going to have, people are going to have different views about that. Personally, as a gay person, I'm all in favor. After Orlando, I'm all in favor. Um, if, there's, if, there's something, if there's something you could do to protect gay people in this country, it's very simple. Close the border. But if failing that, gay people need to stop listening to the left. Stop listening to people who say that peace, love, understanding, and pacifism is going to save you. It didn't save those people in the nightclub. And also, I should add that, you know, the moderate Muslims of America and everywhere else, they should be in the front lines fighting and, and, and calling out the terrorists and the, the extremists. They need to be there condemning this stuff. They need to be the reformers of their religion because... A lot of these extremists, they will take the religion too seriously. And so these, you know, so-called moderate Muslims that don't take their, you know, they don't take it so literally and they're not trying to obey all these horrible things in their religion, they need to promote that to the world. They need to say, look, we should not be killing gays. Uh, we should, you know, be against Sharia law and all these barbaric things. Okay, they need to be there at the front lines of that war against the radical Islam. If they're going to be calling themselves moderates, they need to really prove that to everyone. Each year, the United States permanently admits 100,000 immigrants from the Middle East and many more from Muslim countries outside of the Middle East. Our government has been admitting ever-growing numbers year after year without any effective plan for our own security. Having learned nothing from these attacks, she now plans to massively increase admissions. 
without a screening plan, including a 500 percent increase in Syrian refugees coming into our country. Tell me, tell me, how stupid is that? And think about this. Sam Harris is a Jew. Okay, so he is for Hillary, and Hillary wants to let these refugees in, a lot of who, a lot of whom have very anti-Semitic, okay, attitudes towards Jews, who could, and a lot, there's like a mass exodus right now in Europe, people, the Jews are leaving Europe because they are being attacked, they are being, you know, these, these Muslims over there are very intolerant of Jews, and they have a lot of anti-Semitism going on. So the the Jews are leaving Europe. And so Sam Harris wants to promote Hillary Clinton for president, who wants to let more of these refugees into America. He is asking for trouble. He is asking for trouble for the Jews in America. More, There's going to be more anti-Semitism. The more of these Islamic refugees come into America, we're going to have more anti-Semitism, we're going to have more attacks against gays, more sexism. How is this not completely obvious? <sighs> you know, Sam Harris, we give him so much credit as an intellectual because he sounds so smart. Oh, he just, the words just flow off his tongue like poetry, right? Oh, it's so smart. Look, there's more to intelligence than just being able to talk well, okay? There's like, you know, the type of intelligence that Trump has. Okay, maybe he's not the most intellectual person ever. But you know what? He's got basic street smarts. He's got that type of intelligence of, like, the alpha male spirit that's like, we're going to protect freaking America. That's Trump here. Compare that to little flimsy, pansy Hillary Clinton infested with a feminist mindset. What's she going to do for America? Is she going to protect America? Oh, Hillary's going to protect us all? Oh, the commander of chief, Hillary Clinton. Can you imagine that? That is a disaster. That's perceived as weakness by other nations. It's per they'll be laughing at us. <laughs> you know, a lot of libertarians are waking up too. They're going to go for Trump because they realize He's the best as far as freedom. He's the most libertarian of, you know, he's way more libertarian than Hillary. Hard decision, but I think I'm gonna vote for Donald Trump. I am a libertarian, but I'm also pragmatic. And we have a uh, Supreme Court vacancy uh, that needs to be occupied. And I don't trust Hillary Clinton to uh, put in the right Supreme Court justice. You know, Peter Thiel, he voted for Trump. Peter Thiel's supporting Trump. Peter Thiel wants to, you know, develop the cure for aging because he realizes that Trump would put less regulations, less restrictions on capitalism, allowing these private corporations to, you know, put the full throttle on the cure for life extension, the cure for aging and radical life extension therapies. Trump is good for capitalism. Trump is good for boosting the economy. You know, letting the free market run. And this is the type of environment we need to develop the cure for aging so that we can live forever. Things like that. Hillary is in the hands, in the pockets of these corporations. So you cannot trust her. Trump for president. Let's make America truly great again. Let's make America protected so we can actually feel safe in this amazing country. The best country ever.